Came up from the bottom, better move with caution Where to bring this out, find a form, I'm a slave When I pull up, get thunderclap, my slayers running back Make sure these demons remember the name I do them dirty like EU when I'm dead calm Till I get hot, but I see through all your dead plots I'm in the guys in need suit, cut your head off Pull up with your demons, I'm making sure they Alright, hey guys, welcome back to my channel My name is Raijin Today we're going to be talking about a few concepts I had And why I think next year, or 2022 Is going to be the most hype year of Bounty Rush we've ever had um, so let's get into this. So video. first we're gonna talk about the original leaks that we had earlier on in the year So we had the Wano units. We had Izo and Conjurer who I think are gonna be the step-ups leading up to the yes. Kaido for the third anniversary So I think they're gonna be right before him maybe or maybe they'll be after I'm not too sure But I think that would be the best time to drop him uh, to build up the hype for Kaido And then we have young Rayleigh definitely one of the more hype units that people are expecting um, a lot of people were really excited to see him even though he didn't really have, do much he only stopped marco but then again i am one of the people who are really excited to see him in the game so yeah i'll talk about him in more in detail later because the unit i think he's coming out with is going to be later on in this video next we have punk hazard and it's not shown here but virgo is also part of this um who i think Monet and virgo will be coming out together as a, their own bounty fest in a punk hazard themed event uh, unless bandai pulls a swap and then makes Virgo the second bounty fence instead of Sugar, along with Doflamingo. Uh, but I don't think that's gonna happen. It's pretty much confirmed that it's Sugar at this point since we just got Senior Pink not too long ago. Next, Whole Cake Island. Uh, one of the, my most anticipated units is Whole Cake Island Brook. After what they did to Bronkichi, they, they messed him up, man. They, they, didn't, they didn't do him justice. He definitely could have been way better. He should have been way better. So I think they will do him justice with uh, his bounty fest version. Uh, I mean, he's the MVP of that arc. You gotta, you gotta do the MVP justice, right? So yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to summoning and getting Brook okay on the book. Next, Nami. Uh, they're probably gonna come out together, Brook and Nami. So I'm gonna probably end up getting her too. But I'm not too, too hyped for Nami. I'm not the biggest Nami fan. But for Nami fans, there you go. There's your uh, meta Nami unit that should be coming next year sometime. Uh, putting. Again, not too hype. I'm not sure what she could do. Maybe a step up that like does something with memories. Maybe makes you not unable to cap a flag, unable to hit people similar to negative. Uh, so, uh, yeah, they could do something with that. And then we have Kobe, the Kobe units. We already got Sergeant Kobe, Marine Ford Kobe, along with Akainu and Sentomaru. So that's ready out of the way. Next, I think the bounty will be the bounty fest version of Kobe. Maybe he'll, he'll come out with Hell Mepo, uh, time skip Hell Mepo. But this will be Captain Kobe. Uh, he should be really good. I, I'm really, I'm a Kobe fan, so I'm really hyped to summon and get this other version of Kobe. So for the characters we're missing that were leaked this year, again we have Jack and Queen. Uh, we thought they were going to come out as uh, the bounty fests or step ups. I don't think they're actually going to be step ups, even though I troll and say they're going to be step ups or three star units. But um, I don't think we're going to be step ups. I think they're going to be bounty fest. Jack and Queen are pretty prominent uh, characters in the anime and manga, so they should be uh, their own bounty fest. But since Kaido didn't come out for 2.5 anniversary, uh, we don't know when they're going to come out. I expect next year again. Uh, I think the last two bounty fests of this year, after Young Dofi and Sugar, will probably be Silva Mask and Jinbei, something like that. So I expect Jack and Queen next year. Alright, now we got some more interesting leaks. Uh, we got Burgess, Jesus Burgess, and then Shiryu. We also got uh, Rei Suisanji and Jinbei, uh, which are the two units I do think will be the last bounty fest of this year. So Jinbei, we haven't, he's been leaked for so long, we haven't gotten him in over a year now. Uh, I'm not sure what exactly they're doing with him, but they better have updated his kit because in the time that they leaked him and the time that he's probably going to come out, that kit is going to be outdated as hell. So yeah. Anyways, uh, Sanji and Jinbei should be uh, the last bounty fests. Um, right? And then before that, before them, I think they'll come out in December. And then before them, maybe we'll get uh, Wano, Usopp, and Frankie, maybe. But that would be too reminiscent of the uh, General Frankie and God Usopp banner. So maybe not. Uh, I'm not sure who could come out before them as bounty fest because we still have the November and then we have the December bounty fest so uh, Maybe November will be Sanji and Jinbei and then December Shiryu and Burgess maybe 
But I don't think Burgess should be a bounty fest. I think he sure you should come out with um Yonko Blackbeard who I'll talk about later. But I think Shiryu got clapped by Sabo, so <laughs> he shouldn't be a bounty fest shit. I mean, I mean Burgess got clapped by Sabo. I'm not, I, I mean Burgess not Shiryu, my bad. Uh, he got clapped by Sabo. Mm -hmm. So Shiryu should come out with his captain, you know, uh Blackbeard, who I think will be a uh, bounty fest, as I said in my Blackbeard video, my EX Blackbeard video, I think the next Blackbeard should be a bounty fest. Uh but one of those bounty fests who are essentially just EXs with a bounty fest tag like kid and stuff like that. So yeah. And now for the latest and greatest leaks, the most hype we've had in a while. We got Yamato, Blackbeard, Yonko Blackbeard, uh, Wano Marco, I expect that's the version, and then a new Luffy. And then we got Onigashima and Sky Island. I'm, I really want to see what they do with Onigashima uh, as a map, that would be really cool. See. So Yamato, I think she's going to be, uh, that's going to be her mask version. Or, may, or maybe like a hybrid version that uh, transforms like Luchi into an unmasked and you can put on the mask or something like that. That would be pretty cool to see. I think she's going to be an EX. But then again, other people think she's going to be a step up <coughs> Roman. Uh, I cannot see her as a step up in no way shape or form. Uh, OP, One Piece Treasure Cruise is getting her as a legend already. So I think she's going to be at least a bounty fest. The reason I think she's going to be an EX is because of Kaido. We expect him to be the third Annie and uh, EX unit, so if any unit is going to come out as an EX before him, him is going to be Yamato in my opinion, unless they want to do a Yonko themed um, anniversary for whatever reason and then they might drop Blackbeard as an EX. So for Yamato, I think she's going to have a uh, Thunder Bagua as one of her skills for sure. Um, I'm not sure what the other one could be because it will probably be too early to introduce her other forms that are she's shown in the manga. So. They might just introduce something, make something up. So we'll have to see, wait and see for that. But I think she's gonna be a really good unit. Yonko Blackbeard. Definitely on my list of must summons. I'm definitely gonna be summoning for him when he drops. I, hopefully as a bounty fest, I really don't wanna summon for another EX unit. Uh, but he's just a really broken bounty fest unit. Uh, but yeah, I hope that's what I have in mind for his abilities. So for his first skill, I think it's going to be the one he used the Marine for, where he dragged the air down uh, with his abilities. I think it's going to be like an area effect tremor skill, and then it could be like combo into his second move, which I think will be like a Gura Gura, I mean a Dark Dark Fruit Punch or something like that, or maybe a Vortex. I wouldn't be, I wouldn't put it past Bandai to just reskin one of his uh, skills from his OG version and just give it to uh, the Yonko version. It would be pretty sad, but I wouldn't be surprised. So maybe they'll just have him use his vortex, drag him in, uh, and then combo off of that. And for his traits, I really, I think he's gonna, they're gonna give him everything they should have given the well, prime white beard. So heals off tremor, uh, damage uh, increases, stuff like that. And it's gonna suck because they, they really could have done young white beard so much more justice. But I mean, it's whatever. Hopefully they. We do get one more version of Whitebeard, and he's really good. Next, we got Wano Marco, or Oni Marco, whatever you want to call him. He's also on my list of must summons. So the first thing I want for him is better normals. Uh, the Marco we have is a pretty decent runner, but his normals are just not the best. So I hope that if they're going to make this new Marco, that they, he comes with good normals. Next, hopefully he's... Like when he's in his base form, he has his wings on him. That would be really, really cool. That's just a design thing. That's not really a traits thing or anything. I just want him to have his wings in his base form. Uh, I think that would look really nice on him. So for his skills, oh, uh, hopefully he has like a flying skill where he can just, similar to Pell, where Pell just, uh, you can just hold it down. But for Marco, I hope he can just, you don't have to hold it down. You just click it once, transform into his Phoenix form and just fly around. You can hit people, stuff like that. That would be so amazing. It'd be so fun. And then you could heal your allies while you're doing that, flying around. You have like this area that buffs your allies, heals them, stuff like that. So yeah, they could really do a lot of stuff with that. For his second skill, it could be like similar to his original version where he goes back and forth. But in this one, it's like a wider range and he's just like doing it for longer and, uh, you know, knocking back his enemies. You can see what, what I'm talking about. 
Next, for this new Luffy, uh, I'm not too sure. At this point, you can't really make a fair judgment of what Luffy could be coming next. But since we have Sky Island and the leaks as a map, I think it's going to be Skypiea Luffy. Uh, people have suggested that maybe it's Skypiea Luffy and then Wiper as a Cola unit. So that'd be pretty cool. But anyways, I'm not too hyped for another Luffy. Uh, so this won't really be on my list for summons. Uh, I will be cola ing Wiper. Uh, and maybe I'll summon on Luffy if he's really good. Really good. Because Luffy's will always be good support. Alright, and now for the non-leaked units. But we're going to talk about the units that I think will be coming next year that we just haven't seen yet. First on my list for units that I want to see is also probably first on the list for a lot of other people. Oni Zoro, of course. Now, Oni Zoro has been hyped since since uh, we were shown in him in the manga. And once the Oni units came out, everyone was like, oh my goodness, are we going to get Oni Zoro? Are we going to get him? Are we going to get him? And no, I don't think we're getting him this year. He's a really popular unit, so I can't see Bandai missing out on the opportunity to cash in on that big bank that could be that is inevitably Zoro. Uh, I think he's gonna be a fantastic unit. He's so good. he's so hype right now in the manga. If you're reading the manga, he's he's just a ball. He's just, he's a beast. He deserves to have a broken Bounty Fest version. Not that I mean, he already does. I mean, Jesso Cesaro was super broken on release. So, but yeah, that's who that's the first person I think that's gonna be on my list of units that are gonna be coming out next year. Next, who I want to see some more Whole Cake Island units. Cause seriously. Why have we only gotten Katakuri and Big Mom? There are so many units that people are waiting for. We got Cracker, Smoothie, Prospero, and then a bunch of other units. Roman could probably tell you more. I didn't pay attention to Whole Cake Island too much, but I really want to see Cracker and Smoothie a lot. Uh, they, they seem like they'd be really fun units to play. And honestly, we deserve some Cracker and Smoothie units. So I do think they'll be coming next year. There should be a Whole Cake Island event next year. Uh, and we should just get a bunch of units step up as bounty fest and I hope crack and smoothie are one of them I expect them to be one of them to be honest Anyways, since we're getting a lot of one of next year Of course, we got to include OT and page one, you know some of the More prominent units currently in the manga well in the anime in the manga not so much, but uh, So yeah, I really hope we can see them. I personally won't be summoning But I know a lot of people are excited for OT and in particular and page one's pretty hyped himself I would definitely be Checking them out, making sure to cover them if they do release, when they do release. I expect a lot of the Toby Ropo to release next year, whether a step ups or bounty fest. All right, so next, uh, this isn't a regular unit. He's a movie unit, movie character. I want to see Shiki in this game, please. Treasure Cruise has him. I really would love to see more movie units. And extending off that, why don't we have another bullet, like V2 bullet? Like we need another bullet. He's so bad. His uh, devil fruit is a really, really cool one. I, I know I'm not the only one who'd love to see uh, another bullet with his powers instead of just his hockey. Uh, maybe rerun the bullet event so we could get the old units. Uh, I'd love to get the three star Luffy. He's really good support. So yeah, Shiki, a V2 bullet, maybe even Z. That would be fantastic. Now for a unit that I think is more likely than not going to arrive next year. CP0 Kaku. I am like Kaku is definitely my favorite uh, Cypher Pole character. I would love to see a CP0 unit of him where you could just transform into his hybrid form permanently instead of just on his nose pistol. You can just run, do whatever, transform into hybrid form and then move around, hit people with clap flag, stuff like that. That's similar to Luchi, but and similar to uh, him in One Piece Fighting Path. Next, I would love to see a Sulong form carrot in the game. Uh, Sulong form carrot. The Sulongs in general, they're just so badass looking. I'd love to see all three versions. Uh, carrot, Cat Viper, Dog Storm. I'd love to see all of them in this game. Uh, they're just so cool looking to pass up on as units. Hopefully we get at least one next year. Going back to Whole Cake Island, I think with the Whole Cake Island at, uh, event next year, We'll probably be getting maybe a big mom, a new big mom. Uh, well, she's not from Hokey Island, but I mean, the Wano version of big mom. Uh, maybe we'll get her, her as a bounty fest sometime next year. Not part of the Hokey Island event, 
maybe just a different separate Wano event, a mini Wano event, similar to the ones that they've been having this year, such as with the Oni units and stuff like that. For the rest of these units, I'm just going to list them. I'm not really going to go over them too much. Or So, of course, I'd love to see Jozu in this game, Prospero, maybe maybe a Daz Bones unit, you know, Mr. One, I'd love to see him. Uh, he'd be pretty cool. Uh, Gear 2 Luffy, we still haven't had that yet. I, I'm not sure why. Uh, he's definitely one of the more iconic versions of Luffy. Um, and then I'd like to see... Oh, I, I know I said I wasn't going to go into detail, but can we please get a V2 Kisser? Like, please, a bounty fest, another bounty fest, or even a step up, I take a step up. Like, I really, really want to use more of Kisser. Uh, he, re he seemed like he'd be a really fun unit. So yeah, please, V2 Kisser sometime. Alright, so that's everything. Those are all the units I hope to come and expect to come next year. It's going to be a pretty hard year for free-to-play units. Free-to-play players, I mean. So you guys need to make sure you know which units you want to get to save your Raymond Diamonds appropriately. Make sure to grind out everything we get. Uh, yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, leave a like and comment. Subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to join my Discord. The link will be in the description. You can come chat and join the giveaways that I'm going to be hosting uh, sporadically. Uh, so yeah, I will catch you on the next one. Peace.